This demo highlights the ability of EMC Technologies to provide mission critical confidence for enterprise class SQL Server 2012 infrastructures. The demo is based on the EMC VNX series storage array, which offers a simple, efficient, and powerful storage platform for SQL Server 2012. We show the ability of the EMC FastCache technology feature to boost database performance in this solution by over 320%. The solution demonstrates a geographically dispersed SQL Server 2012 environment protected by always-on technology, highlighting multi-subnet support at a synchronous distance of 80 kilometers. Four mission-critical, extremely active OLTP databases, totaling 1.8 terabytes of data, are replicated to our DR site using the always-on availability groups. EMC Unisphere makes it easy to manage your VNX systems from anywhere with a simple integrated user interface for distributed storage environments. The Unisphere dashboard is a single screen for at a glance management and reporting enabling administrators to gain instant and actionable knowledge about what's occurring. Unisphere's single sign-on automatically discovers all EMC VNX, EMC Clarion, EMC Solera and EMC RecoverPoint SE installations in the environment for seamless configuration. Using the dashboard we can monitor and manage all our environments both for production and DR from a single management interface. For example we can view system information, view a storage capacity summary and view free storage capacity for both storage pools and RAID groups. From monitoring and alerts we can view statistics allowing us to see performance metrics such as bandwidth and I.O. throughput. From the storage tab we can create and manage storage pools, RAID groups and their corresponding LUNs. From hosts we can manage access and connectivity through storage groups. From the support tab we have a centralized access area to items such as help, community resources, product support and software downloads. EMC Storage Integrator is an agentless, no charge plugin enabling application aware storage provisioning for Microsoft Windows Server applications. It provides the ability for Windows administrators to easily provision using wizards, block, and file storage in a Windows environment. ESI supports the EMC. VNX, VNXE, EMC Clarion CX4 and EMC VMAX and VMAXE storage platforms. Next we will show the provisioning of storage as we create a LUN on the array and present it to the Windows host. Having chosen a storage system we choose the storage pool or RAID group. We assign the details for the LUN. And then assign the disk preparation settings 
such as windows, volume label and drive leather. Here we see the task ESI performs to create a new volume, such as rescanning, initializing the disk and mounting the volume without further intervention from the administrator. One of the new high availability configurations introduced in SQL Server 2012 is the Always On Availability Group, which provides protection for specific application databases. This capability not only provides all the functionality that current database mirroring and log shipping provide, it comes with a rich set of options to provide further improvements, such as the new active secondary to improve utilization of a secondary instance. From SQL Server 2012 onwards, Always On Availability Group is a recommended HA solution rather than database mirroring or log shipping. In this demo, we have two availability groups. AG1 consisting of a 1 terabyte OLTP database is being protected in synchronous commit mode where the secondary copy is synchronized with the primary database and all committed transactions are protected. AG2 consisting of free OLTP databases totaling 800 meg are also protected in synchronous commit mode, highlighting the ability to group federated databases together. Notice both availability groups are in automatic failover mode where in the event of a disaster a synchronized secondary replica will transition to the primary role. We will now demonstrate the automatic failover mode. We will simulate a disaster occurring to the production site and our primary replica on the production site is down. Moving to our DR site, we see from the dashboard that our availability groups are in a critical state. We see the secondary replica has now transitioned to become the primary replica. Here we see SQL Perfmon details for both our primary and secondary replicas on a storage pool consisting of 40 SAS disks with no fast cache enabled. Transactional I.O. throughput, or IOPS, shown as disk transfers a second for the primary replica is approximately 12,000. Looking at our secondary replica, we see throughput of 800 IOPS as only write activity is replicated. Primary replica transactional activity, shown as transactions a second, or TPS, is approximately 5,000 during this time. Our secondary replica shows 300 transactions per second. We will show in a minute how this storage pool is currently I.O. bound. Next, we enable FastCache on the storage pool hosting our primary replica data files. This simple one-click transparent process requires no modification at the SQL Server level. After just 30 minutes of FastCache being enabled, we see the immediate effect on performance. 
we see IO throughput increase to approximately 24,000 IOPS on primary replica, 3,000 on secondary. SQL transactions a second on primary increases to approximately 14,000 TPS, 900 on secondary. After just two hours of fast cash running, we see throughput increase to over 50,000 IOPS on the primary replica, and transactional performance is approximately 25,000 transactions per second. Looking at Unisphere Analyzer, our EMC performance analysis tool, we see how the storage pool was initially I.O. bound, having reached the limit of its ability to service I.O. requests. After fast cache is enabled and a frequently accessed data is promoted to cache, we clearly see the pressure on the storage pool alleviated. Here we see a graphical representation of our Perfmon data. We see the transactional performance boost received from the introduction of EMC fast cache to our environment. The ability to service transactions per second having increased from 6,000 to over 26,000 transactions per second. EMC fast cache has boosted throughput performance. From an initial 12,000 IOPS, SQL Server 2012 running on a VNX series storage array is now able to consistently service over 53,000 IOPS, while at the same time providing amazingly low database latency of no more than 3 milliseconds for reads and 2 milliseconds for writes. Results clearly show the benefit of using EMC technology with SQL Server 2012.